Hello, this is Mars Starter, and this is a review of the SH Figure Arts uh, Kamen Rider Doubles Hard Boiled Earth. So this is specifically made for the Shinko Choseyo version of Kamen Rider Double. Um, so let's get a quick tour on the box, so what it looks like, everything you see here, nice and uh, well executed. And then at the back, um, it tells you that this is um, for the Shinko Choseyo version of Kamen Rider Double. So let's open the box so I can tell you more about the uh, bike inside and let's make a comparison with the Skull Folder. Before Skull Boiler had a mate over in SH Figure Arts, we had the Hard Boiler. Kamen Rider Double's main vehicle to match the Shinko Choseyo line even it doesn't say that it is. But it is implied that Kamen Rider Double Shinko Choseyo version on the box. Modeled after the Honda CBR1000RR motorcycle, the changes from the original Hard Boiler are the height and length, the back seat pan, the paint applications, that are closer from the actual car paint. The bike still has working parts such as the kickstand, the spring at the back, and the fork moves left to right. This has a hole at the bottom to insert the Tamashi arm but this is not included in the set. What is included is a small transparent stand for the rear wheel. So side by side comparison with the skull boiler and the hard boiler, it should be the same mode um, because they're all uh, it's a duplicate actually from the skull boiler. Although this came out first, then the skull boiler us uh, came out second in terms of the release date. So we have all the things that function the same thing, like the kickstand right here um, does function, and then the wheels do turn, and we have a spring action here at the back. Um, you can see here the gauges are also the same thing um, and then um, it's just that the difference is the color scheme so we have the uh, all silver for the double action because the it is supposed to be uh, connotes the double driver so we are um, this one is using the double to signify the double driver and then ha just one half for the skull boulder because of the lost driver having only one slot for the um, um, double driver or uh, one slot for the lost driver I, uh, as I should say so myself so um, those are the things that you need to know about the um, the hard boiler so let's put the Shinko Choseo Kamen Rider Double and see if this one fits really perfectly with Shinko Choseo. Now having Kamen Rider Double on the bike, it does a decent job on uh, making the Shinko Choseo fit really nicely on the um, hard boiled there. As you can see here, his butt is really on, on the seat pan and then the feet right here looks very natural when it is um, placed on the uh, footrest for both sides and you don't need, really need to stretch the arms um, towards the or uh, stretch the arms like um, really straight it out to for him to handle both uh, hands on the handlebars so that's very very cool um, and I think overall uh, the only thing that you need to compromise on is the belt because it tends to fold all, all the way back instead of having it really decent on uh, Kamen Rider Double. So again, those are the things that you need to know about the hard ball there. Though this is an upgrade and definitely looks gorgeous than the first release, there are no indications that this can transform to other modes. This means that having other attachments for this version is kind of bleak and will not happen anytime soon as per this post. Even with that, the figure does fit perfectly on Kamen Rider Double for the Shinko Choseyo and despite not having any indication that it will transform, this is still a wonderful piece to have in your collection. And that is my review of the renewal version of the SH Figure Arts Hard Boulder. If you want to know the details of the figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more SH Figure Arts reviews.